Welcome back to another episode building a turn at 28 army, this time building a stomp gun. Stomp guns, any kind of big cannon or mortary type thing. I decided an organ gun would be a fun variation of that, so I took to Blender and sculpted one up before printing it out. Then taking a square of foam core, I beveled the edges to create a base. To make the base more interesting, we're going to turn it into a kind of earthy fortification type thing which also kind of ties into the whole Napoleonic vibe of Turnit 28. To put some bulk on the earthworks at the front, I took two pieces of styrofoam, trimmed them down, then took some wooden coffee stirrers, trimmed them down to size, and lined one side of it. I attached these with hot glue, so there'd be a bit of variation in how far they stuck out, and it would be a bit more ramshackle. With all the wooden boarding in place, I took some more hot glue and attached it onto the base at the front. Taking some more coffee stirrers, but leaving them longer, I then glued those behind it so you'd have a bit of traction for the wheels. For the earth, I then mixed up a batch of sculptor mold, using water and the compound mixed together to a nice lumpy consistency. Then using a tiny spatula, I applied it onto the front, giving it about 10 minutes to dry, I then went in with my finger and smoothed out any of the weird lumps. I also did a quick dry fit to make sure the wheels still fit at the front of the piece. Mixing up a texture paste of black gesso, sand, PVA, as well as a bit of cork flock, I then applied it over the earth, as well as on top of a few of the wooden beams, so you get a bit of kind of dirt spreading over the top as well, and make it appear a bit more naturally blended. Once dry, I then hit the exposed beams with some black gesso as well. Taking some Vallejo earth texture paste, I applied a nice thick coating around the edge of the wheels while it be pushed through the mud, as well as using it to create some rust kind of build up on top of the cannon and a few select areas. Once dry, this got a coat of Vallejo black surface primer. Moving on to the crew, I used mostly the same parts as the fodder, so using the bodies from a Victrix, Napoleonic French kit, clipping the integrated bases off, and then putting a few arms on from various other kits, and sculpting a few more details on, such as fur cloaks and sacks over their heads. I also gave the leader type guy a head from the Spanish Conquistadors box from War Games Atlantic. In turn of 28, you don't actually have any particular rules for crew figures, you can just add them on the base, or separately. But by keeping them separate, you can use them as wound trackers for the cannon. Some of the arms I had were left over from a kit of Afghan tribesmen from Perry Miniatures. So taking the drum and the drumstick arm, clipped one off so we'd have a stump, then use the drumstick as a match for lighting the back of the cannon. The third and final crewman gets his very own cannonball made out of milliput, which was super glued into his hands. Mixing up another batch of milliput, I then went in and gave them a few cloaks, capes, and a few other weird turnipy bits. Thank you. 
using more Vallejo Earth texture on the bases. Moving back to the stump gun, I used a combination of dark browns, blending through to more orangey tones, and even some grey colours to build up an assortment of rust and discoloration on the cannon. Where I had applied the Vallejo Earth texture on top of the cannon barrels, I used these as the dentist points of rust and went in with the more orangey tones so it would stand out and pop a bit more. Using a mid grey tone, I also dulled down some of the metallic effects so it would be a bit less shiny. The base of the piece got a very basic paint scheme, using a burnt umber as the base tone, and then a light white dry brush over the top, then some light green paint watered down and applied onto the wooden beams. When dry brushing the planks I made sure to follow the grain, which emphasises the detail a bit. I used quite a bright green paint from Egg Interactive and watered it down some so I'd get a nice kind of mildewy green rotting plank effect. I painted the crew up using the same colour scheme as the fodder, so white and brown as the primary colours, then using some greens and a pink as an accent. Mixing together a few drops of Mod Podge and some clump foliage to create a kind of slimy foliage paste. I then placed it on the base of the models as well as on the front of the earthworks. Once that was completely cured, I went in with watered down black paint and dulled it down to the standard drab turnipy look. Almost done now, just took a few tufts and applied them around the base. I also had a few leaves left over from the last build, so they got put on as well. With those finishing touches, it was now done. So I have a fully working stump gun, covered in rust and mildew, behind some questionable earthworks that don't really provide much cover to the crew. But that's all quite turnipy, so we'll run with it. And it's detachable as well, if you need it to be. That also means my first turn at Force is almost completed. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.